and it, let me know i haven't shared anything on youtube right because lately uh super super busy if you want to see the the if you find the need to to, to see the the recordings facebook may say that hey upload on youtube please or you know share with us at least the password and stuff okay i have all the recordings i never share it on youtube usually like i i know i used to do um so yeah all this discussion will be on youtube <laughs> Okay, is the problem significant? Is it is an important principle involved? Means who cares? Again, it's all about who cares. Who check your research uh, topic and comparably, if you can answer this, if you said yes, 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 means at least okay. Means you know you're good to go. If not, then time to actually you know refine, still refine the topic. Remember, the topic is still uh, uh it's a working title. You can always improve. Better do in research method class rather than when you are doing project paper or you know, when you're about to defend. Okay. Sources of research problem. Some people do <laughs> uh, uh, what you call caution me about this. Um, the options, highlights, okay. See? Uh, select research problem research problem okay um dissertation it could be and um this one actually dissertation this is the one that important sources i don't know some uh, some uh, professors in uh, at university at uum say that oh malaysia dissertation junk i know everybody can <laughs> can write a dissertation but never look at this and this unpublished unpublished means usually technical report you know that's what I've heard from panels during the, the, the session and even, you know, from, um, you know, normal talk, uh, professional development talk. Okay. So, but uh, when I was a student, graduate student in the States, everything can be referred to. Okay, because I'm not sure, maybe quality control, you know, dissertation, people can compare dissertation different abroad and local, I... I think that should not be the case, especially nowadays. I think Malaysia's uh, Malaysia's um, what do you call uh, panels or uh, examiners, even the graduate uh, school board, also really worry about the quality now. Last time I saw that people easily pass minor correction, but not anymore. Some people think about if you have if not rigorous enough, it's it's not a good study. So yeah, be, be be careful of what are these two, but I put it because I still have faith in it because students learn from dissertation better because the way they, they write and everything. It's just not everything on on the rack, on the shelf on, in the library is worth to being replicated. You know, you sometimes you just, <laughs> you take it because, oh, this one, they, they did similar thing. They just grab everything thought that that's the best then they say oh this is on the shelf <laughs> then then that's why the comment ha huh, not everything on the shelf is you know is of quality some people they don't even do correction as they supposed to so i don't know how things how people check on the correction and stuff okay but basically we saw earlier what you know what uh what are the sources you you look at all the documents and past studies and here benefits who's going to benefit it okay professional goals if you are a pengetua or pk that's why you want to do all the leadership stuff that's that's really a, what you call it uh means you are in in good uh on good track you know okay here here uh, this is related to the paradigm, how we look at the world, the worldview. We, we look at them, it's either quantitative, you want to narrow down the problem because you want to really find the, the, the most key or important variable, okay? And you identify all the variables, IV and DV, and the relationships and how these two works, you know, uh, either mempengaruhi or apa, uh, akan uh, 
impact ha, so memberi impact so this one akan impact ni ataupun hanya ada relationship or um, because of this uh, this one is improve you know so impact or relationship two arrows <laughs> Remember in statistic class, okay, and then who's your sample because you want to generalize, okay? Then later we're gonna learn the population, the sample, sampling frame, okay, all those because inside we have more uh, in, in in the sample. So who's gonna be the sample because you 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 manage to 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 collect data in small sample and you want to to generalize to bigger population, okay? And then you have to form three RQ. When three RQ means usually the question will be um, is, does, what, <laughs> those kind of question, okay? But it's not limited. I've seen people uh, put quantitative studies how, okay? But some panels again don't like it because quantitative is supposed to be like very <laughs> narrowing. What, yeah, uh, is, uh, yes it is. Is it significant? Yes. <laughs> uh, does it affect? Yes. <laughs> okay. Those are kind of thing. Okay. In the uh, exploratory, this is when you start with the why, wow, uh, why, wow, <laughs> what, why, how. Okay. Uh, and wow, definitely something that can wow you. Definitely is qualitative. What, why, how, and um, what else? Uh, those kind of things. Okay. So this one we'll go through in detail. But you see here um, when you. Uh, determine all those the, from the problem to the design and the, the question because when you write the question you want to really relate uh, to the methodology too okay uh, steps in formulating research problem okay read and narrow down issues okay then you get the, the objectives why what's the motivation why you want to do this okay it's problematic somewhere the implementation still um, questionable still not good enough okay uh, identify variables again ivdv uh, independent variable dependent variable okay formal questions and state relationship then you come up with the uh, based on the problem statement because you said that they're still lacking yeah that's why the relationship should be there okay uh, another question what is a variable when we talk about ivdv right so we talk about uh what is a variable I have oh, what is an IV is another question. I'm not answering. I'm still asking you a lot of questions. What is a DV? Examples. Oh, these are the answer. <laughs> Evidence of issues. They are actually. Okay, I have all this. So which one? Which one? Okay, uh, give just just that one. One each. Um, you, you know, some of you may may want to type. Which one is um, a variable? Doesn't matter whether IV or DV. A potential variable, just one. Motivation. Yeah, okay. Is it Ein? Yeah, okay, Ein. Yes, yeah, motivation, definitely. The uh, anybody else you, you can type or you can shout it out, unmute your mic. Where is the motivation just now? There you go. Okay, attitude, yeah, definitely. Attitude is one, um, what we call uh, a variable, perceptions, definitely perceptions teachers perceptions on what and stuff okay achievement yes okay so basically you got the idea those like you know the one that you want okay effectiveness i i, I don't know whether somebody mentioned it i i shared last last week uh, Kabaya, but I'll, i can share it right now <laughs> okay i shared last week and it's uh but it's not on you i'm not learning yet but i'll share it again no worries okay thank you for reminding me yeah, usually I I remind you that we're what we're gonna do right today a little bit uh, chaotic in the morning. Uh, okay, yeah, it, okay. Uh, shred everything. Yeah, most of the but mobile learning you have to define implement it. Mobile learning. Uh, yeah, achievement. Somebody said achievement. 
uh, I think CLT, this is something to do with the PLC. Bring your own device. This is a policy and stuff. PDPC, PAK21, flip classroom. Okay, those are the things. This one, it has to come up with a verb or, or a, a noun, a, uh, other noun to, to support it. Effectiveness of flip classroom. Perceptions of teachers on flip classroom. Okay, on what? Okay, on physical punishment. This is the most mostly the issue. Okay, communicative competence. Competence, yes. So communicative competence, the the whole uh, variable. Engagement, vocabulary engagement. Okay, instructional reflection. You can do okay. How how teachers uh, conduct instructional reflection? Okay, project based learning. This is actually the the issue and or uh, the, the the one that drive the 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 the. the the, the variables, the perceptions or the implementation of project-based learning, the writing skill. Yeah, skill is actually definitely, but what type of skill? Writing skill, more specific, uh, English writing skill or narrative writing skill or persuasive writing skill, okay? Uh, leadership, <laughs> okay, I always uh, miss that part. Leadership, teacher competence, teacher commitment, teacher's uh, efficacy, okay? Those are all variables, so you got the idea, okay? Oh, more, there you go, vlog. And this is when people are, uh, when I had uh, those from uh, education IT, <laughs> talk about this a lot, okay? Mobile learning and stuff, bring your own device, okay? Uh, research question is a shortcut to the essence of the study. Make sure the question is precise, okay? Uh, it covers exactly the issue you wish to address and indicates how will you create answer. Okay, for... Characteristics, it has to be feasible, means, you know, it's practical. You don't have to spend a lot of money, you know, time is worth it, not like, you know, more than three years, that's uh, more than three years, wait until you get the, the PhD, then, you know, you, you'll do a research grant, or global research grant, that's, that, that way you can always have all the time in the world. But, you know, to finish your degree, be practical, clear. Okay, keywords in the question it means they understand. Okay, okay. Here means people talk about um, whether online learn, uh, online distance learning versus remote learning. <laughs> okay, so which one we want to go with? Okay, so if it's not clear, it's okay. You can define it operationally online distance learning versus remote learning because some people say okay, online distance learning, online slash distance learning. Okay, some people say remote learning. They learn remotely. You know they doesn't have to be online, okay? Uh, the question is significant, uh, definitely. Again, significant, significant, everything is important. Ethical, okay? This is, of course, it doesn't uh, give psychological damage. Some people want to do intervention, okay? Intervention means you give something to one group and maybe, you know, different thing to another group or maybe just stop another group from getting anything. So, yeah, that's the, what is, what will be the psychologically, uh, I would call it effect to those who don't don't get. For example, A and B. Okay, these two are actually um tsunami tsunami survivor. You know, in Aceh. Yeah, this one in uh, maybe in uh, India. This one in Aceh, in Indonesia. So now we are giving psychotherapy. Oh no, this is really that that is not feasible. My my what my 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 example itself is not feasible. Uh, I'll say in COVID survivors, uh, COVID COVID family who 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 lost their members, for example, A and B. Okay, this one in uh, Kedah, this one in um, I don't know, the one who who has a lot of uh, uh, Kedah versus. Uh, Penang, for example. This is just an example and not necessary. So you give in, uh, therapy to B, but A, you don't give therapy. So in when we talk about ethics, it's not ethical. To, you are studying A, taking their time, but you're not giving them any therapy. Okay? So some people want to, because you want to to, to check the, the effect of therapy B to, 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 to population. So that's why you want to say, okay, that's we should have one with absence of therapy. So that's actually an ethical issue. It's gonna be, if we have ethical board, definitely it'll be like, you know, alarm. No, 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 <laughs> this, not, this not, cannot be done, okay? And some people say, okay, never mind. We, we give later, afterwards. Do you have all the time and money to do that? 
after you finish your study, sometimes most of the time you want to move on or you want to see what can be done next. Okay, not like go back and give therapy. Right. So those are the things that you have to consider. This one usually we our schools the panah the panah so E S A P S P punya study. Okay. For example, or even our uh, educational psychology pun boleh juga. Yang apa yang buat benda ni. So those are the things that you have to consider. Ethical, you know, like uh, macam apa homosexual. I I told you long long time ago. Somebody go and um, uh, follow uh, homosexual people from the toilet to their house okay uh, that's ethical definitely kids you know the way you want to take picture and stuff how you gonna experience uh, express it their their names and stuff even basic stuff interview stuff you have to have pseudo names you cannot put their name and location that people can identify them easily that's ethical issues okay precision is important research question is a specific question okay we you see here Okay. Have one question at a time, not a compound complex one. <laughs> it should be a question and not a statement. Means it has to have like question mark. So you see, what's the difference between uh, the one that you no, know, not not specific and the better one? What is the word that change not change improve this one? Yes, yeah, significantly. I thank you. Yes, significantly is the word. Okay, uh, does Maxis uh, charge their clients higher audit, uh, higher telephone fees than other uh, companies? Okay, does okay, okay. Maxis charge you know forty eight ringgit. <laughs> okay, uh, Southcom charge forty forty six ringgit. Okay, two ringgit extra. Ah, uh, it's not significant. Okay, but when you say significantly higher. Then we can see okay, means significantly it makes sense, you know, for those you know, kalau apa, between uh, 48 and um, 30, why 18 ringgit more? Okay, and those are the things that you want to, to be specific, it has to be worded well, significantly high audits, significant relationship. Yes, there is relationship, but they're not significant, so who cares? Okay. It's always uh, you have to come up. Usually, significant most of the time in quality quantitative, we will have that significant words in our uh, wording, in our questions, and definitely hypothesis. Significant relationship, significant difference. Therapy A, uh, or no, uh, what do you call um, grief uh, or achievement increase significantly, you know, with the intervention. Uh, with intervention A, with uh, when you use problem-based learning uh, to student A, their science uh, achievement improve significantly, okay, compared to those who just chalk and talk, okay. So those, how many control variables or other po possible alternative explanation exists? This one, you want to see, okay, how many, what else can affect because, um, uh, it could be what you call um, instead of uh, the instead of the fees. What else? Uh, what what costs the audit fees to be increased? Okay, other thing maybe um, because of the charge. Okay, charge. Yeah, clients higher audit fees and other audit firms. I'm trying to say something about this. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> okay. This one, clients, the size of the client. Okay, small clients, big clients, what else? Okay, uh, the prominence, okay? Who are the clients? Of course, the, the big clients come. come. And then uh, the location, okay? Urban versus rural. Right, KL punya price lain lah dengan Kedah punya price. Contoh, okay? So those are the other plausible ex alternative explanation that will, you know, that will explain it, but you are not putting it in your studies. Okay, so maksudnya macam okay, kenapa teachers tak competent? Not only because of the leadership of the the top management, 
uh, the principal. Maybe other things, you know, the environment, the school climate, you know, um, the selection of students also can get the scholar A, scholar B, and everything. So those are the things yang might explain that uh, incompetence or you know dissatisfaction or a motivation. Instead of being motivated, they are not being motivated. Why? Not because only the leadership. You have to consider all other stuff. Okay, that's why it's hard to, <laughs> to really just clear cut saying that, okay, this one, uh, this leadership will affect this. Okay, it could be at some point. Definitely, good leaders will definitely dictate most of the things that happen in an organization, but not, not necessarily all the time. Sometimes the teacher is also problematic. Okay, I'm just say, saying to those who are doing about leadership. Okay. Okay, this one general, significant, specific. <laughs> what needs to be done, what remains incomplete. Okay, so general means the, the one that you state. Significance, you know, means this one, like who cares? Significance means, yes, you start going deeper with the problem statement, with the uh, empirical studies uh, supported with uh, documents and stuff. Yes, the policy wants it, that's why it's significant. Yes, the issue is there, we have problems now, no studies so far. You know, that look at B40 online learning, you know, in police, okay, uh, specific research question hypothesis, what needs to be done, what remains incomplete, because we don't want to say, okay, um, so who cares, we don't have to do this, okay, you don't have to spend a lot of money or uh, spend your degree, you know, just doing things because it's been there, it's saturated in the literature, orang dah buat banyak kali dah benda ni, so what's new, okay, so you have to, to, to make sure Nobody will come, even though you are you are doing project paper. Okay. Okay, this is from Azlina Muratsani. Uh, the book that I shared a long time ago too is a um, book on academic writing. Any boleh beli online, pun boleh. Uh, her books, um, the cut UM online. So you'll get uh, the thing. It's good if you have problems in writing because it teach you how to transition, how to actually uh, signal a gap, how to actually uh, you know, highlight uh, problems and stuff. But I'll, I'll give a snippet here. Okay. As Lina Murasani said, it's a precise statement of question or issue that is to be investigated. Um, it can be in terms of purpose and it gives this a specification. It, the one that she shared here is basically the simplified version of problems because, you know, she, this is actually uh, in an article, okay. Okay, you want to show that, okay. First, we know this. So what else? So what do, what we don't know? The gap. Okay, another thing. What else we don't know? Another research gap. Okay, and this is the problem statement, but this is still for a thesis or dissertation uh, or even your project paper. No, uh, this considers still a very simplified version, but you have to know, okay, this is the idea. Establishing what is known basically is in your background or introduction. Remember the subheading just now? You have introduction in the background of the study. You want to establish, okay, what, what is known? Okay, assessment is like this. We have assessment, we have this and that. Now we have, pro previously we have school-based assessment. Now we have uh, classroom-based assessment. And now we have no assessment <laughs> or uh, for tahap satu, for example. So you are establishing it to people so it clears, okay, what's going on. Okay, uh, research gap. So we don't know what. We never check how teacher implement certain stuff, okay, with the no assessment. So um, lack of empirical studies, when you say lack of empirical studies, you have to show who said lack of empirical studies, unless you've already shared earlier, okay, we did this only, only one guy studied this, two guys studied that, then okay, therefore lack of empirical studies. You cannot just simply saying, okay, no empirical studies so far. How did you know, unless you show, okay, I did Google search, uh, I use this keyword and everything. Yes, you have to show that if you want to come up with that such uh, ambitious um, point of lack of empirical studies. Okay. Uh, problem statement. Okay. Again, this one. What is known? The research gap. Okay. Here, I think you want to show about a great deal of research has investigated workplace learning and job performance as antecedents of workplace behavior. So you need, so you should say, okay, first is a uh, workplace learning, learn at workplace, and then job performance. Okay, 
these two are actually uh, workplace behavior, antecedents of workplace behavior. Okay, so WB. Personality and individual factor and learning culture and organization factor have both been shown to contribute to employee behavior. Okay, so basically, however, uh, the literature is yet to reveal any attempt to structurally map out the re reciprocal relationship between personality, learning culture, and workplace learning and job performance. So there's no nobody want to show. There's no showing that this one is uh, what you call. There are other uh, variables here. See, personality, learning culture, workplace learning, job performance. So in one single study, maybe study A did. Uh, personality and learning to, uh, separately. Study B, workplace learning and job. Okay, no such thing like doing it together. Okay, so means this one you have to show above, ahead. So this just that's like you know something else uh, discuss up there. Okay, uh, in a school context. Okay, here what is it specifically? It will investigate reciprocal relationships between personality. This one they said in terms of purpose. Because we term it in terms of purpose. Okay. Additionally, the literature also suggests that effort, the initiative to engage in workplace learning, may influence these relationships. Okay. Because, uh, because the literature showed that. That's why we want to make sure that all of this are studied in this study, in one study. So before people study about bits and pieces. Okay. This is one. Again, this is still simplified. There's no citation and stuff. Okay, but when you look at a problem statement, it has to be cited a lot because you cannot just come up with common sense problem. It's problematic. I know. I observe my teacher. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can add a little bit uh, based on your experience. You can have one, one paragraph about based on your experience as SISC plus or as a principal for 20 years. You know? So those kind of things matters, but you have to actually put it on paper and at the same time of course you have to study you have to study previous literature too okay uh, being practitioner and being scholar at the same time okay this one is from uh, Dawson about assessment rubrics okay um want to show that what's going on this is an article key one article if you are into uh, PhD students like Nisha and uh, Kabaya yeah you Later, you have to venture uh, in publishing uh, in scholarly journal too. I know, so I think there will be um, a requirement for to, to publish, especially a master by research. Okay, so this is a Q1. Q1 means basically the top tier journal. So this is how they write about assessment rubrics. I'm not going to go through because, um, you know, this one you take time. Why is it, uh, what do you call it, uh, the way they, they, they put here, at least he, okay. Yeah, here is actually looking at post and see, they, uh, he only mentioned one, okay? But you have to understand, okay? When he did this, I just grabbed a, a snippet on it. Pre I mean, ahead, they already built that statement, okay? But here, just said here, review of 75 studies. If he look at this, of the 75 studies. So at some point he good to go. He look at Johnson's 2017 and he's published in 2017. Okay, so just look at how they actually built up because some, some article is actually, uh, they don't really worry about the recent, the recency. I mean, it's like, okay, they've been citing 2006, 2007, but what about 2016 or 15 at least? You know? So maybe there are more ahead and based on this article there are more but just to, to see the argument okay why why we need to to see why do we need to look at assessment rubrics when we want to create an assessment what will be the what is the problem okay and it start with the article aims and within this there's actually problems okay and here it provide the i means at the end, then you say, okay, of course. And eventually I, <laughs> as an educator, you know, that's my role. So I, I want to pursue this study. Okay, this is another from Grant. 
uh, FRGS. Okay. Um, I think uh, again, uh, this is basically when you know lecturers uh, in Malaysia are actually uh, bidding, bidding not bidding, competing for a grant. So they want to have um, what we call uh, a, a very good problem statement because they are competing millions of uh, proposals. Okay, this is uh, one time it's historical thinking skills uh, about history history to teach history for next generation basically i think uh form four and form five i guess okay this one is said that to come up with technology enhanced high think high source thematic based instructional module for educators they want to create the module for educators for on how to teach history they call it high think means you know higher thinking high source means using multiple sources Anybody like uh, Cikgu Sejarah kat sini? So basically, okay, now you can see here where the citation comes. Can nobody say on anything on the chat? Okay. okay. Here, start with the ministry and then uh, what happened in the classroom, okay? Uh, and then in addition, a survey of four, uh, 46 form one history teachers means in addition to that, this one, they, they based on the highlight uh, the, the, the studies, whatever they're doing. Okay, so here they want to see theme four is problematic. Okay, they just want to see, okay, now we go deeper, uh, we go deeper to the topic and stuff. Okay. Okay, what, what previous researchers said and why you want to have the module because we have to have, teachers need to be trained to have workshops, professional development, whatsoever. Okay, what Richmond proposed. Okay, we have to have guidelines. So that's why we want to create module. module. Okay, all this stuff. So this is one. <laughs> and what makes biology learning difficult and effective? Uh, Another one, Educa educational research reviews. This is the problem statement. Okay. I'm not going to go through. These are examples. Means you have to be, what do you call, uh, convincing enough. Convince based on citation. Uh, this one, uh, this is mine. This is mine, ongoing. I did this, I won the, the grant. New empathetic postgraduate well-being and on-time completion model. I want to look at well-being and also GOT. Sounds familiar, Kabaya and Nisha? <laughs> and also I definitely, because these are actually GOT. I, I think those project paper too, you have that kind of GOT. Are you being pressured with GOT? Means you have to graduate on time. Okay, and based on that, there's a well-being involved. Okay. Um, so the problem statement here. Okay. The EPRD mention and stuff okay so we have here global problem then local and then why but uh, usually uh yeah here are all of those uh in what the variables involved i do not share the the model if you i share the model then it'll be clear for you i think down there i think i put in the conceptual uh, framework then you see all the model, uh, the variable here mentioned. Why I want to to to, to study all the variables? Everything is mentioned, I think here. Okay. Mm. Evidence. Okay, this is the gap. How? Okay, what kind of gap that you want to highlight? Okay, this one I share again. Um, what? Oh, I, I don't know. I just share uh, the whole slides actually. So evidence gap. How you want to show? So. Uh, there's like uh, there's not much evidence or there's been mixed feelings and uh, mixed findings contradictory okay knowledge gap okay means we did not get it shows that uh, the intervention fails why okay so that's the knowledge gap practical knowledge gap this one uh, research also find that uh, but practically it's not shown or practice have shown it worked, but research couldn't prove such thing. 
Okay. Uh, usually this one, basically they call it um, uh, action research. Those uh, teachers, you are doing tangent in that kind. Uh, practical knowledge gap is always there. Use YouTube. <laughs> we know it improved, but you know, or in, in, in research and not many people, why people don't uh, use YouTube or TikTok or the social media. Okay. Uh, maybe not more. Uh, more, we need more studies, okay, not enough studies. Uh, yeah, this is method. This one use quantitative saja. Semua leadership <laughs> punya apa, uh, buat quanti. Tak ada pun quali. Okay, tiba-tiba uh, Madam um, Om wants to do quali. Because people have been doing quanti, now I want to interview. <laughs> Will you find that uh, a supervisor who willing to do that? I'm asking the education and management, um, um, management. Uh, sometimes uh, I know one thing, um, you are not allowed to do quality because um, there's no supervision, enough supervis who, supervisor who can do quality, maybe, okay, but that's wrong. Okay, empirical gap, research findings or propositions need to be evaluated, <laughs> means because we need to more, more uh, empirical, this one, evidence based on the research. This is what we call empirical, there's evidence, there's data to show, okay? Theoretical gap uh -huh. means um, theory should be applied to certain research issues to generate new insights, but then we don't have that theory. Kita ada TPAC for teachers, what about for students, okay? All we'll focus on teachers, but what about students? Do we have online learning uh, uh, model? Untuk, untuk students, okay, so there's a theoretical gap, or maybe we can just adopt a gap and combine, but still the, the, the theory is missing, for example, I'm just saying, I'm not sure about that, okay, population gap, okay, first, we we want to look at um, research about B40, uh, ASNAF, uh, Orang Asli, okay, those, uh, yeah, and sometimes um, they call it, um, Minority, uh, don't be don't be uh, surprised. Huh? A female considered minority. Hmm. Okay, uh, race ethnicity we know that. Age and ethnic. Okay. Those are the gaps that you can always highlight. Okay, this is the gap. Uh, so look at the uh, the way they signal. Okay, uh, what remains to be explored, however. <laughs> we want to, this is the signal lah, to show, okay, ni gap lah nak masuk gap. Uh, kita dah ada ni, 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 semua study, 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 study ni, tetapi, ha, bila ada tetapi, walau bagaimanapun, penanda wacana lah, if you are doing in Malay kan. Uh, tapi kalau English ni, uh, I don't know, I think it's easier to come up with the signal because I wrote a lot in English, I might be biased, but um, kalau masa Melayu, I, I use a lot uh, penanda wacana, walau bagaimanapun, um, Walaupun, those kind of things, okay? They still use transition word, however. What remains to be explored? What's still lacking? Scarce research, okay? Despite uh, an increased interest in... Uh, any, any sama lah, kalau kita translate dalam bahasa Melayu pun. Walaupun apa, minat terhadap mikropolitik semakin bertambah uh, dalam kalangan uh, generasi muda, <laughs> tetapi, macam uh, itulah, sedikit saja, very few studies, ha, scarce, ha, the word scarce ni kan, ha, very few studies tengok, dia bagi lah. janganlah very few studies, suka hati je cakap very few studies, tapi tak tak bagi tahu siapa yang cakap very few studies, okay, or at least selected, yang maksudnya ball ni tak cukup, dia ni cakap pasal apa, and then dia cakap pasal, ni tahu apa, 87, 86, 84, and then dia buat 89, so you have to see the time. If you mean here, I've been now apa, translanguaging dah. Because I'm okay, almost there. We we'll try to stop at 11.30, okay? I need some more useful gaps. The one, this one I found it um, like, you know, uh, from uh, articles. While this principle may be widely accepted, the practice has remained remarkably free from empirical scrutiny. Maksudnya tak ada, tak ada data lah. Nak tengok, means tak ada research lah. Okay, there's no data. Empirical scrutiny. You won't go wrong lah bila ada benda tu. Okay, for something that is helped to deliver a myriad of benefits, 
we still know little. Okay, dah cakap tadi, dah cakap tadi, we still know little to which these are in fact delivered. This article addresses this gap on, it's straightforward. How they want to, to show, I mean it's like, they want, they dah cakap lah gap satu, gap dua, gap tiga tadi, the first one, two, three gap, and then now, why? How you can come up with uh, methodological gap, evidence gap tadi yang previous previous gap that we may show. So, these gaps, pelbagai lah kalau ada banyak kan, these gaps. Uh, why? Because first we are going to do interview. First qualitative, <laughs> that check on leadership. Hmm. Instead of asking survey, <laughs> okay. Uh, cikgu bagi survey. Cikgu tidak diberi peluang untuk break the interview, contoh. Uh, cikgu tak ada masa, contoh. Okay. <laughs> tu dah, I'm, 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 I'm off tangent here. Okay, these are more. These are more like, you know, the, many from Prof Zulika, tak salah. Uh, dah pincin lah. Okay. Uh, this is how wiki how how to write a problem statement okay sikit lagi do you want to take a break because this is kind of important juga operational definition anybody Everybody is okay, we continue. Okay. When you provide definition, what does it mean by when you provide definition? What does it mean when you define? Describe precisely. Okay, cool, Nisha. Yeah, you give describe. You you want people to actually to understand what is it, right? You give meaning. You want to uh, to make meaning. Okay, to describe, give definition. Yes, you want basically you want to to explain what is your what is the the variable. Okay, to, uh, or or the thing that you want to define. Okay, so when you do operationally, you could be like, okay, um. Uh, Apa itu cinta? <laughs> Apa itu cinta? So how you define cinta or love? My side thing? Okay. Uh, cinta, cinta kat Maya. How do you define love? Yes, I think, uh, yeah, you, you give, uh, show uh, resources, okay. Uh, this one define this by this, uh, this uh, A define uh, cinta by B, uh, by, by second, second. Yes, take care of people you love, okay. Uh, some people say, okay, affection, love is uh, when you have a warm feeling toward a person or toward an, an animal, okay. Yes. <laughs> Experience. Okay, okay. Love could be something that you know uh, is pure. Some people those are concepts. Okay, concept. But how? Okay, how to want to show? How you want to show love? How do you want to operationally define love? Okay, so you want to show love country, <laughs> love your country. How you operationalize? Uh, operationally by actions. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How when you say love your country? How you can operationally define uh, love towards country? Bila kita tengok, okay, kata student kita nak kata, student ni ada obey the rules. Okay, simple, yeah, abiding the laws. Okay, contribute our expertise to develop nation. Wow, okay, ni orang-orang follow the rules, yes, patriotic. <laughs> okay, yeah, 
Kalau student lah, nak love the country. Kalau student, okay, obey the rules, okay. Fine, 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 okay. Contribute to the nation, okay. Maybe student not yet. Or uh, maybe yes, by getting A's. Or what else? Uh, nyanyi lagu negaraku. Okay, standing straight. Okay, so those are the defined uh, operational definition. Okay, um, what do you call? Uh, don't do any, uh, don't. Kalau don't do means it's, it's hard to define lah. Okay, um, yes, contribute to the nation. Join uh, curricular, extracurricular activities, you know, at the national level. How many people, <laughs> okay, or join uh, the pertandingan hari kebangsaan, okay. Uh, how many people the involve the the involvement understand and practice the constitution woo <laughs> okay <laughs> that's another uh, that's actually another definition of variable but what how you can define constitutions kepercayaan uh, kepada tuhan all those things right okay so the action the action means how we can do it operationally the practice okay so the involvement in um in hari kebangsaan so when more people involved without being pushed by by teachers for example okay that's how we operationally define uh, the students love towards the country uh, especially during independence day <laughs> okay uh, so yang telah yang kita nak define but when you just go vague and you know okay love love is affection sayang sayang <laughs> so everybody can define that but how you actually want to to measure to measure berapa orang ramai yang sayang okay so kalau student to join okay dia sayang kalau student to menyanyi lagu negaraku dia sayang okay so you have this kind of indicators that are measurable okay you can measure them so here the operationalization is the process of moving from a constructs conceptual definition to specific activities or measures kalau kita kata english achievement kita english achievement 80 over 100, <laughs> okay. If 80 means high, more than 80, okay. If 60, low, okay, contoh. Specific activities, okay. If you want to make sure the task, students are doing task in English, okay. How you want to measure um, per role play? Students uh, do this, what students do, what students do. So those are the activities during role play. If you want to measure role play effectiveness, okay. So what shows? Okay, during role play, student mention the concepts. Okay, so dapat satu marka. Okay, so those are the activities. So how you operationalize? You give the def you give uh something vague. You give meaning to it by showing what are the activities or what are the measures. How you can count? Okay, that's why it is called empirical. Operation definition. A variable in terms of the specific actions to measure or indicate it in empirical world. Okay, hear me? Still again? Okay, so, so what? How are you going to do that? Okay, it's written in specific language rather than abstract conceptual definitions. Okay, now, yang ni, bila kita ada citing, that's why Kak Bayi just now, at citation. When you operationally define something, you want to show who actually used that kind of definition and how what kind of instrument instrument to usually the authors are citing lah siapa 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 okay so how we want to measure or assess or uh, evaluate that thing implementation how you want to see if we implement okay how many times teacher apa teacher mentioned that uh, uh, in the in the rph and then you go observe too how many uh, time teacher uh, change from uh, English to Malay code switching. If you want to see implemented apa, the use of code switching in class. Okay, how many times teacher use uh, teacher switch to to the to the native language instead of from the target language? Okay, those are the the definition. Okay, ni paling simple. Okay, example. Vernon 1992 studied how divorce in the middle generation impacts grandparents' relationship with their grandchildren. So now, even grandparents also should be. Uh, oh, first it says relationship, kinship, relationship to the grandchild. The relationship with the grandchildren also do not think of. Relationship to macam mana? Okay, so here, this is how they operationally define. Who's the grandparents? So, grandparents could be maternal, maksudnya from the dad side, or the upper, uh, mother. Eh, maternal is the mother side, I think. Paternal is the father side. Okay, uh, so first they, they talk about that 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 kind of relationship. Previous research 
So that maternal grandparents tend to be closer to the children. So here, do you want to show that? Okay, the relationship is actually for the mother side. Nenek dengan tuk wan belah ma. Means that's the grandparents relationship means specifically maternal. Okay, this is how you want to operationally define. Maternal relationship means any direct relationships uh, with the uh, mother side of uh, mother parents, uh, the parents of the mother side, okay, with the children. Sex of grandparent, okay. Ni memanglah belah mak ngai, belah ibu dah, okay. First, we said maternal. And then, whether a grandparent is a grandmother or a grandfather has been found to be a factor in the grandparent-grandchild relationship. Remember that uh, gender of teacher and students punya interest. <laughs> now, it's like grandparent uh, gender, okay. Whether it's a grandmother or grandfather. Because grandmothers are found to be more involved than grandfathers. Yelah, nak makan apa, uh, cucu nenek, uh, which is thought to be related to kin keeping role of women within the family. Okay, this is from this uh, study. So here they say, okay, not only maternal, maternal means ada datuk dengan nenek belah mak. Tapi nenek belah mak ni yang penting. So this is how you go deeper and deeper. Okay, this is how you operationally define. Another one. Okay, this one, best teaching practices. Okay, ni pun still vague, tapi at least this is a good start. This is from a real project paper punya student. Okay, the definition for best practices, not, which is defined as existing practices that already possess a high level of widely agreed effectiveness. Okay, good teaching practice is a key influence on student learning that is desired. Teachers strive to meet the principles of good practice in an effort. Okay, ni semua ni dia bagitalah. Apa all the about best practices. Yang ni, this so far, this is actually the, the operational one. The rest are more like conceptual. Okay, teachers strive, teacher will do this, teacher will do that to make sure that provide best learning experience. Okay, how? How? How to? How? Still, no operational definition. Okay, so kat sini dia kata, uh, such practices are complex object of study, especially, okay. BTP refer to ultimately secondary class. Okay. Secondary class chemistry teachers integrate and implement SEL through, they get the SEL through concept map, problem-based learning, cooperative learning. So, tiga. So, they get the best teaching practices something to do with um, activities and taken by teachers and then for students to, to work. Okay, any salah kat atas ni. I, I think I took, it should be something about students. And then here, this is the, the, the real one. Okay. Secondary chemistry teachers integrate and implement SEL. SEL is student-centered learning through this concept map, problem-based learning, cooperative learning. So that's teaching practices in secondary chemistry lesson or curriculum. It's a concept map, problem-based learning, cooperative learning. And don't stop until there. Because people will ask, okay, how you definitely operationally define concept map? Pula? Concept map is the use of poplet or padlet to brainstorm ideas about a concept. Uh, then you have to actually define pula concept map. Then you have to operationally define problem-based learning. What are the activities in problem-based learning that when students do problem-based learning, it is student-centered. Cooperative learning, when people cooperate, when they share resources, when they go through library together, those are the activities to define block cooperative learning. But this is one vague operational definition. Okay, just want to show you. Uh, Yanni, this is mine. <laughs> this is mine based on the, 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 the graduate on time. Tadi kan? On time completion of postgraduate study. How do I operationally define this? Okay, because this is my DV lah, GOT tadi. Dependent variable there. Based if student have well-being, student will GOT. Well-being tu ha, ada lah pula, macam-macam pula, tak stress dan lah, everything. So, tak apa, uh, physical health pun termasuk lah in, in the well-being. Okay, so GOT, how do I actually define GOT? On-time completion of postgraduate study can be defined as a period of time of study that have been prescribed. By the university. Kalau UUM kata, okay, 48 bulan. 48 bulan tak boleh lebih. 
Okay, it can also be defined by the duration between the date of the first semester for the postgraduate study until the date of the completion of the endorsement letter. Sampai dapat surat senat. Okay, not when you submit your correction. When you get the surat, then you actually, maksudnya, tak lama lah. Because it's going to take long time juga for those process. So, it's not exceeding 36 plus 12 months for most social sciences academic program or 48 plus 12 months, maksudnya lima tahun, for critical programs such as medicine and pharmacy. Dapat daripada mana? University Transformation Program, Silver Book. Can you see this? It's coming up from Ministry of Higher Education. You click this, you get the Silver Book. Page 18. Then people say, okay, dia tahu dah <laughs> what is graduate on time. So you have that, that date, the definition. Prescribed by who? By the law. Law is actually here, the Silver Book lah. Okay, so the duration of study is based on the different months. Ha, okay, nak kata JOT maksudnya berapa bulan lah? Months lah. Because we, they're talking about months here, months here. So JOT means you not exceeding 48 months for social science. Between the registration time and the time when study completed. Given the duration, we'll rescore the months into the following. Score six. Full-time students that meet the prescribed time given academic discipline and program of study. Six months later than the score six, score of five. Maksudnya, dia tak ni lah, dia tak meet the prescribed time lah. So, dapatlah lima. L kalau ada lebih enam bulan. Lebih setahun. Uh, then so called. Haven't completed or and are not eligible to GOT. Uh, dapat satu lah. So, we score them. Because this is a quantitative study. We know this definition and then how you're going to score it. This matters juga lah. Okay. Same. How you want to measure teachers competent, tak competent or efficacy, tak efficacy. 80, high efficacy. <laughs> Kalau score 50, moderate efficacy. Is that how you do it? Or how? Kalau strongly disagree, <laughs> very not efficacy. No, no self-efficacy. Kalau strongly agree, high efficacy. How do you want to do that? Kan ada kan? Satu, dua, tiga, empat. Those are the skills. Yang tu pun you learn in the statistics of, uh, again, or apa? Uh, educational psychology measurement. Okay. So, those are the things that you have to define juga lah. But this one later, that's why I said some some might explain it detail more in chapter three. But operation definition means you know what how you're going to do. Means teachers score high. High and the extent that what are the questions that teachers score high. Okay. I will definitely uh, stay back to finish or I will do <laughs> class tambahan, time cuti. Oh, ada tak teacher macam tu? Okay, ada, I know ada. All of you, all of you, right? Okay, jangan senyum. <laughs> okay, I don't know, I don't cannot see your reaction. Maybe I'm the only one talking here. So, no chatting, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Nisha, for the emoji. Okay. Nisha send an emoji in the cat number. The cat uh, chatting. Okay. So, last but almost there. Significance of study. Okay. I'm smart. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging me. Okay. Uh, I'm glad. Okay. Last but not least. Significance of study. Then, quantity helix study lah. Okay. I'm going to go straight to the point. Here. Three. Ah, huh, sebelas tengah dah. Three or four reasons that the study adds to existing theories, scholarly research, and literature in the field. Okay, means you have to put three or four reasons, huh? Bukan one, bukan two. This is just to help you make sure you can find at least three or four reasons. Okay, and then three or four reasons how the study improve practice. Because of this, our problem-based learning activities at school become improved. Teacher knows how to actually go and conduct activities outdoor. Okay, they have the module, they have the guidelines, you know. Uh, okay, kalau, cikgu, uh, kalau student sakit nak buat apa during the activities, contoh, that, that's, you know, if you don't operationally define that, no problem. You know, I'm just, now I'm, I'm just uh, adding stuff uh, for the sake of, because I'm tired. <laughs> okay, three or four reasons as to why the study will improve policy. Okay, in this one. So how we can help policy, how we can help digital Malaysia. This study will give insight to make sure how Malaysia can be more inclusive towards B40 and those who live in rural area when they want to take online learning. Okay, how you want to make sure that teachers are, you know, uh, 
we want to change apa guru besar semua kena pergi ambil satu course kena pergi bootcamp on improving transformational leadership how to actually conduct it in your school okay uh, so those are the things uh, the the one that you are deciding and then you said that okay ada apa standard guru malaysia spg apa i don't remember dah kan the standard four tu kan pemudaharaan and what can be done okay how, how this one helps to apa uh, give apa real examples or practical practical uh, suggestion on how to achieve standard four standard guru malaysia contoh Okay, <laughs> significant problem. I forgot about that and I chanting a bit. Significant problem, crucial, important, important questions to ask. The impact of research is what matters, not so much the conclusion. Compelling questions to be answered. Yes, because I answered this, I help do this. Because of this, teacher knows how to conduct alternative assessment for apa? Budak -budak dajah satu. Contoh. Okay. Ain, uh, anything that you want to relate to your study, I keep forgetting. You are doing something to do with the uh, uh, 4C, right? Communication, creative thinking, all those. Is it? Is it Ain? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, that's okay. there. Okay, yeah. so uh, uh, usually if you, you want to say that the significance of that study, how? If I can uh, bring Ain's us. Uh, Mm, I think for my study, the significance mm -hmm. uh, from the study is that it's mostly related with the practitioners in the okay. field, in the field. Like because I'm actually looking for CSE and also the positive youth development. So any practitioners okay. inside uh, who are working on those fields can actually understand what does it mean by PYD because it's a new. I think it's a new way to study. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, to, so to study. Uh, teachers, right? You are looking at teachers, right? Uh, oh, uh, youth. From, uh, from the, because I took it from the grant, uh, mm -hmm. it's stated on the students, but it's mm -hmm. basically more towards the youth. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but uh, we want to um, uh, focus on students in UUM to represent okay. youth as a whole, something like mm. that. Yeah. Okay. See, this is a, a good problem statement. Parliament amended, right? Umur 18 tahun dah boleh vote. Nak pilih pemimpin. So how can the, this youth, 18 years old, don't mind TikTok and video game, can select leadership. <laughs> leadership, like leaders. So do they have all the five C's? Okay. So basically like that. So when we have that, we will build prepare the generation to to become leaders okay so basically that's the contribution of iron study okay yeah significance contribution it could be to method previously nobody did in quantity now you did quantity or previously nobody did structure equation modeling that's the most uh, i think sophisticated now <laughs> or previously nobody did mixed method now you do both you do both Okay, social again just now, uh, improving youth. Okay, to make sure less crime, no uh, juvenile records. Uh, economic consequence, uh, penjana whatsoever. So how can people before this makan gaji or harapkan uh, bantuan? Now you become uh, income, <laughs> income. Uh, can okay, uh, generate income. Okay, income generated also provide the source of income to others. Okay, anything as long as it has an effect no nothing nothing is too minor everything should be um what you call uh, significant so anything that can contribute to these three at least triple helix yes it is so here you can see did i contribute to the design in methodology did i do mixed method for example theoretical con contribution how much we understand something more okay pyd just now right <laughs> you i was mentioning about pyd um yeah, how, how much we understand about this positive youth development, the model, okay? How can we contribute it to the means, uh, okay? Conventional contribution, how is the literature being extended? Means we add. With this, we extend our literature, more understanding on how to help uh, this one. Practice, policy, economy, social, okay? Uh, this significant society, 
This one is two tips on how to write the significance of the study in research-based articles. So yeah, this one I got from this blog. Hmm. This is STEM, I guess, STEM, how to ensure that STEM study. This one, um, introduction to a quantitative study, uh, organizational members, researchers. Uh, okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it should be what you call it. Um, it's lengthy, but yes, um, I think you've been through all this you because you when you decide on your topic you've been thinking about all of this actually we've, we've done this again and now it's just how to do it on paper how to actually do it how to actually draft it okay so here you go you we did this we even did the paradigm and method and stuff okay so just that one paradigm is just to make sure how you actually understand you know your research paradigm and the method comes with it but this one if you can answer all this then you're good to, you will have a good problem statement i can see that most of you already did here see you need, let's say why and everything but this one add more okay you definitely start uh thinking about the policies or the the, the source of uh, documents that you want to cite. Okay, kita check out. Okay, if you want to go to policy, check the pmo.gov.my. This is where all the policies in Malaysia. Lah. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So focus. Uh, see, penjana, national employment, for my assistant package. Think. Uh, POMB. Resources, yeah, there you go. Policies and plans. Right, <laughs> all those kind of thing. Man, the policies and plans. But usually, when I type policy, okay, if you, that was the one one way. Another thing. Policy in Malaysia, online learning. Okay. Okay, the club, kita club PMO tu kan. So, it's okay. You can see here, the PAN. The PAN 2.0. So, these are all, these are actually policy lah. This is an example of policy document. Okay. Uh, SDG, those are actually global lah. Global uh, policy and stuff. Okay. Open educational resources, how to actually uh, come up with a, now everything should be MOOC online. Okay, study online, on everything online. Okay, so that's it, I think, um, from my part for this. Next week, we'll do literature review. It's going to be the same uh, thing. Um, you know, I'll, I'll share with you both uh, slides right now. Okay, and yeah, try to digest you can and maybe you can start drafting research questions problem statement and hopefully when you read i hope with the assignment too it'll, it'll, it'll guide you more okay you go and choose five or four, uh, five at least you know five or more i don't mind more five journal articles in your reading list whatever you have already in your reading list okay and then check see how they write their problem statement Okay, check the cross well. This is examples. Okay, you can use different. I don't. It's not necessary. Strategies to write. Okay, cross well. Two thousand fourteen, chapter five. Really rigorous. Very rich information there. Just go through and then you'll see. The idea is actually whether they provide significant contribution. Okay, do they have any fact? Why they want to conduct the studies in that uh, article? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you can say okay. If um, I a lot to digest. <laughs> okay, uh, but I hope okay. Goodbye, assis. Eleven forty. Okay, but uh, those who want to leave, you can leave. But I, I have a question for Kabaya actually to maybe if you want to stay to listen to her. You even Nisha, right? Nisha and Kabaya, I know so. You guys are taking the two of you are taking academic writing. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you did last week presentation on problem solving and problem solving. A problem statement. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, how was it? Uh, how was it? Uh, it was great, okay. Uh, okay. I had to change so, my topic as I, okay. I, I, I talked to you. So, uh -huh. now, yeah. okay, we have already sent the written report. Okay. So is it so, like did you put all the the information? Uh, how how is this lecture uh, informed um, or you know, yeah? Added? I wish I wish uh, this lecture was before we <laughs> we had to do that assignment, okay. but 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 we are right. Maybe we can just uh, uh, improvise based on your okay. you know, notes today. Yeah. Okay. A okay. lot of things to improvise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Isha, anything? Uh, I'm anybody else? Madam Gita, Madam Prema, Madam Manalini. Um, as for me, for my academic writing, uh, uh -huh. um, I am not able to do my presentation. Uh, okay. Because uh, we have a lot of um, students. So, uh -huh. today is going to be mine, uh, my turn. Okay. Uh -huh. But, um, to be honest, um, it's quite hard, actually, at first to start writing the problem statement because for me like in my case i start uh, huh? i started to confuse between what i'm gonna put for my background what i'm gonna put for my introduction but right. remember uh because i have a chance to meet with my supervisor and okay. also ask for her opinion so for now i think uh, alhamdulillah i am on the right track inshallah <laughs> okay, good, good. okay um anybody else uh, Dr. Angita here. Okay, hi Gita, Madam Gita. Okay, anyway, thanks for your guidance eh, and notes. Um, Doctor, can we quit now? Because next class we got a sure. presentation. Yes, 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 leave, leave. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, Madam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to add, uh, yeah, I'm adding uh, Madam uh, Sri and uh, Shumin's uh, attendance. Oh, by the way, uh, those who, who live can live. Um, one last thing about uh, the, the the conflict of uh, between uh, timetable is don't worry uh, we're still on the right track so I'm not sure why the education comes out <laughs> with their own uh, uh, timetable but we're still on the right track <laughs> okay thank you so much doctor thank you thank you thank you Oh, doctor, uh, yeah, I have yeah. a question. Can I use uh, the other journal articles out of my reading list? Because I think yes. I found something uh, more interesting. Cool, cool, yes. Yes, please, okay. but just, just okay, could you please uh, give it to me too? I mean, because it's not there, right? Just just uh, send it okay. to uh, right, the articles that you don't have. Okay, okay I will. This is Nisha, will. right? I don't have to yes. look at who's speaking now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nisha okay. here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Nisha. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Doctor. That Liana? Yes. Uh. Yeah, I have another oh, question. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Um, okay. Uh, since I've changed my uh, topic for academic uh -huh. writing, can I use the same topic for your class as well? For yeah, the other sure. assignments? Yeah. So yes, that I will yes, be yes. on the same. Uh, right, because like, that's uh, the plan. That's the plan yeah. because like, we haven't met. Remember, we planned yes. to meet Nisha and you yeah. and uh, Dr. Aspalela. No yeah. worries. Because proposal, um, uh, research question, different. You can delve deeper. Okay. Like you said, you want to focus on uh, assess, uh, alternative assessment and stuff. Yes. Okay. The specific okay. one. Too. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's okay. still it mirrors whatever we we plan to. Inshallah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so okay. much, Doctor. Thank okay. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Salam. Nisha, any 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 re revision of our uh, topic, or you want to go deeper a specific? Nisha, um, no? I think I'll stay on the track. Uh, okay, with the yeah. previous topic, cool. But then I've just changed uh, the three E framework to the technology enhanced teaching and learning. Cool, 
aku. Okay, so uh, did uh, Dr. Rafiza right suggest yeah. like to go specific, uh, specific alternative assessment? No, 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 no. no. Actually, uh, I've consulted with Dr. As because hmm? um, I'm I have consulted with Dr. As previously before the presentation of the academic writing because um, I was a little bit confused with the articles that I have to cite for the three E framework because. Hmm. I think that's done. <laughs> and then uh, I asked Dr. As, Dr. As, so uh, what about this 3E, right? And then uh, she said that it's actually the framework that will be um, actually that will be from developed. That. Yeah, from yeah. from uh, from the research. Oh, well, I see. That's why I won't I won't get the articles or the any citations uh, for the 3E framework. So that's why yeah. I've changed to technology enhanced teaching. Oh, I'm glad. Yes, okay, so uh, you so you have the technology in house. That's good. Three uh -huh. E. We will call it three E when when you have finished your search. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bye. Yeah, that's a little bit confused to me because I didn't know and we didn't brief yet, right? So, right. yeah, that's that's only the matters, lah. But now I already uh, I I still I think that um I'm in track now. But then, um, during my presentation, um, uh, I think it was okay. But then I need to improve a little bit on my writings for problem statement because, um, actually my problem statement has a lot, like seven to eight pages. So I need mm -hmm. to reduce it to two to three pages. Did she say that? Did Dr. Farafiza so, mention? Uh, no, mention no, no, no. That that's only for the uh assignments but then okay, okay. I, I i was thinking like i'm going to use this for my problem statement but then um you have said earlier that um the the uh, the the proper problem statement should be like two to three pages right so i have to reduce it yeah if possible okay. definitely. because seven, okay. unless you are actually elaborating each of the problem in more detail more detail but mm -hmm. later you can do it you know save it for your literature review too Okay, good. Okay. So just highlight the problem. Okay, this is a problem. Who said that? And therefore, okay, what's next? What's next? So okay, okay, good. You, when we can do that, like you know, make a story in in one simple. If we have a good story, usually like rumusan. When we write uh -huh. a rumusan, right? So it's uh -huh. so you just want to highlight the 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 gist. Uh, but mm -hmm. there's no you don't there's no there's no page limit for problem statement trust me oh but okay good if, mm -hmm. if it's uh, if it's like you know depends on what you want to include but most of the time it becomes more when you start mixing it up this is background yeah. becomes, and, and you keep yeah, yeah. you keep on repeating you whatever you sure said don't mix up right okay mm -hmm. okay inshallah uh, okay. this is good inshallah doctor thanks okay. thanks a lot Okay. I okay. okay. Thank you, Nisha. Goodbye, Doctor. Sorry about, about um the delay. It's been very hectic, but I hope oh, it's to, okay. <laughs> to stay stay in touch as, uh, more often, inshallah. It's okay, I understand. Okay. Thank Bye, Doctor. Assalamualaikum. Aine, are you still here? Kumusalam, Nisha. Ain? I'm sorry, I'm rushing to because I have another class. Ain, do you need to, to to talk to me or something that you stem stay back? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I just want to say thank you, doctor. Ah, oh, so sweet. Okay, I, all the best. So, you, Prof. Rosna is your supervisor, right? Uh, yeah, Prof. Rosna. Okay, so you're on the right track. And yeah, great, great study anyway uh, about that. Okay. Okay, thank you, okay, doctor. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Salam.